Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will solve a 3 by 2 repeated Myers ANOVA problem in the SPSS and then we will learn that how to interpret and report the results. So, a question statement, a clinical investigation was conducted to find the effect of three acceptance and commitment therapy interventions. The interventions are acceptance, cognitive diffusion and self as context that are tailored for the children that are experiencing the night treasures. So the children has take part in each of the intervention that have been done after two weeks. Further, the children within each intervention have received the, a face to face instruction in one week and online instruction another week. The online instruction was performed with a video at home. The parents has reported the frequency of night error at the end of each week. So these, so these numbers are showing the frequency of night terrors. Now we will import this data into the SPSS. So the data has been imported in the same way as depicted in the Excel. Now to analyze, click on analyze then journal linear model then repeated measures in the repeated measures we have to define what our over factors are so let me reset it our first factor the name is intervention and it has three levels that are accept diffusion and self as context add them then our second factor name is delivery and it has two levels that are online and face to face then add it Click define. In the define, we will get such a window within subject variable because it's a repeated Meyer design. Select all of them at a time and then click on this arrow button. What is meant by this one one? One one means accept face to face, then one means accept and online. Two means diffusion, face to face, diffusion, online. So in this way, we will we'll shift the whole data there, then click on model but nothing to do as it leave as it is then go to contrast continue go to the plot here we will move our intervention as the horizontal axis delivery on the separate lines then add it so we'll get a graph and we will get the graph in the form of a line chart click on continue then post hoc test in the post hoc test nothing to do continue em means also uh, we are interested in the means for all of our variables compare the main effect and we'll see compare it using the bonferroni continue then save uh, nothing to do here continue and then options here we see homogeneity test descriptive statistics and the estimate of effect sizes observed power continue and then continue so these are the results of the repeated Meyer design 3 by 2 ANOVA first of all we will go towards the Assumption so the specificity assumption has been satisfied because the p value that are associated with the intervention and the interaction term of the uh, intervention at delivery they have the p value greater than 0.05 so the assumption of the specificity has been satisfied. The test of within subject contrast revealed that intervention has a significant effect because the p value associated with the intervention is less than 0.05. Further, the delivery it has an insignificant effect the p value is greater than 0.05 it is 0.865 further the, in the interaction effect of intervention and delivery it is also found to be insignificant because the p value is 0.100 since our interventions are found to be statistically significant so we will do the pairwise comparison using bonferroni so here we have represented the three intervention types by one two and three they are basically one is acceptance two is diffusion and three as self as context now the result revealed that there is a difference between one and two because the p value again zero less than 0 0.05 there is a difference between one and three again due to p value you can see and you can see all of the p values are less than 0 0.05 so there is a very significant difference between all of the pairs. Now we come down towards our plot. And you, here you can see that this one, one means acceptance and this green line means online. So the least number of night terror are obtained for the acceptance intervention type and the delivery type for the online. However, if you move towards the intervention type of three that has been self as context, and when it is delivered as 
on line 3 we got the higher number of night terrors now we will interpret the whole results a 2 by a 3 by 2 because the three information type multiply by 2 these are delivery types factorial repeated myers anova was conducted to investigate differences in night terrors for the intervention and the delivery types the normality assumption was checked by the conduction of Shapiro Wilkes test and the we got p value greater than 0 0.05 and the suppressivity assumption by master test of suppressivity and both tests are found to be satisfied. The main effect of intervention was significant. F the degree of freedom of the numerator and 5 is the degree of freedom for the error term and this is the 196 is the F value comma the p value obtained is less than 0 0.05 and the effect size is 0 0.975 let me show you these result in the table so you will report in this way that degree of freedom 1 of the linear term then 5 of the error term so 1 comma 5 is equal to 196 this is the f value p value 0 0.001 and then the partial eta scale is 0 0.975 so we will have to report these values in our interpretation the Banfironi post hoc test revealed that acceptance, its mean and standard deviation value, differed significantly from both diffusion and self as context. The main effect of delivery was found to be insignificant. I am now damn sure that you know that how I pick 1, 5, and 0.032. This 0.032 is the F value. P value is equal to 0.0856, and the partial eta scale is 0.006. It means that it has too little effect. Further, the face-to-face -face method do not differ significantly from the online. The interaction term of intervention and the delivery was found to be insignificant. Now, figure 1, it depicts that the highest night error are reported for online method of delivery with self as context intervention type, followed by the face-to-face -face and self as context. Similarly, we got the least number of night error are reported for online acceptance condition than the face-to-face -face acceptance condition. The hype all for today. If you have any question, you can ask me on the WhatsApp as well. Thanks. Bye.